Good morning, Bedford View Methodist Church family. I'm back. It's good to be back. It's good to be healthy again. And friends, thank you for all the prayers and everything that you have done for me during this difficult time. So friends, I'm back once again to do our Wednesday devotion. And thanks to TK and Roxanne for the past two weeks that they helped me to continue with the devotions and I've enjoyed you know, having the time to just listen to God's word from other people. It has really helped me and, and also it was a moment for me to rest and just be fed spiritually. So friends, as we begin then today, once again with our devotion, let us then begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father, I come before your throne of grace this morning, O oh God, to give you thanks and praise for the gift of life, for the good health, and also to pray for each and every person that is watching this devotion, that you bless them, Father, and you protect them during these difficult times in our country. So God, be with us this morning. Lead and guide this devotion as only as you can. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So friends, my reading for this morning is one of our lectionary readings, Psalm 85. I'm just going to read verse 4. Psalm 85, verse 4, one of our lectionary readings for Sunday. Psalm 85, verse 4, it says, Restore us again, God our Savior, and put away your displeasure towards us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray. Father, I pray that you open our hearts and our minds as we listen to your word this morning. In Jesus' name, Amen. My theme for this morning is a God of restoration. I want to talk about restoration this morning. As the psalmist speaks to God, as we know David, you know, he has a way of speaking to God and pouring his heart out to God. And this morning he says, restore us again as your people, God, our God, our Savior. And I think we also might be in that state where we feel, you know, something is not right in our own lives. Something has been broken. And when something is broken, what do we do? We ask God to restore us. Hence, I call him a God of restoration. Maybe let me suggest things that we could ask God to restore for us as his people. Ask God to restore our relationship with him. You know, because we are human beings, now and then we, we commit sin, you know, we, we, we disobey God, we do things that are against the will of God. And now it is the time that I'm asking us to go to God again and say, God, we acknowledge our sins, we acknowledge our mistakes, and we ask that you restore our broken relationship with you. And we broke it, not you, God, but we as your people, because of our sinfulness, you know, something is broken in our relationship. We ask God for restoration. And friends, I'm not saying this because of what is happening around us. I need to be clear because I know people are asking themselves, is God punishing us? What's happening? Is COVID-19 beside the third wave? And on the other hand, we see what is happening in our country. You know, shops being burned, people are looting, and then the fights that are happening. I don't, I, I'm not, I don't think at any point that God is punishing us. It is just because of our broken relationship with God, because of our disobedience, that causing us to do these things as God's people. So they, therefore that is why I'm saying let's go on our knees and ask God to restore our relationship with him because when we are right with God, none of these things have, will happen. You know, when we are right with God, automatically we obey the will of God. There will be no looting. There will be no burning of shops and all this fighting. Because why? Because we'll be following the will of God. That's what I'm saying. So let's pray for a relationship with God to be restored so that whatever we say and do will be the will of God. And also let's ask God to restore our relationship with others because of the hate that is happening around us. Because people, you know, they've got hate towards each other. Our relationship is broken, you know, because of different things. And because of that, then those kind of things, hate and pain, they cause us to do crazy things and wrong things. But once we ask God to restore relationships, all of us will be children of God, all of us will be friends, all of us will love one another. Then when we love one another and we are friends, there's no way we can hurt each other. So that is why I'm saying, let's ask God to restore, help us restore our relationship with one another. So that there may be love and peace amongst us. And maybe the third thing that we should ask God to restore is our health. 
because of this COVID, friends, you know, health-wise, people are struggling, people are suffering. I was one of those for about eight to nine days where things were so difficult in my life. And, and it was during those times that I continued to pray with God, to God. My wife and the kids were praying to God daily, you know, saying, God, we're praying for good health for my husband, for my father. And let's pray for God to restore our health. Let's pray. And when we do that, we're praying then for God to take away this COVID-19 because our God is a God of possibilities. It's not caused by God, friends, but God can take it away like that. So when we pray, let's continue to pray for good health. Continue to pray for health workers. Continue to pray for those who are in hospital that God may restore them to good health again so that they may be reunited with their families. The restoration, lastly, restoration of our finances. Because of this COVID-19, many people have lost their jobs. Many people have lost their income. People are struggling. Let's pray for God to restore our finances so that people you know, may put food on their table, may provide for their families. Because I know it is difficult not to provide for your family. Because you see and watch your kids starve and you think, what am I going to do? And I'm saying to us, let's go back to God and say, God, we're praying for restoration. Things are not normal. Things are not right. Only you, God, can make them right. Because why? You are a God of restoration. You are a restorer. And now we take the words of David. Restore us again as your people. God, our Savior. So we pray this week for restoration. For anything that is broken in your life that needs a restoration. It might not be these four things I've mentioned, but there's more that I did not mention. And you know what is broken in your life. You know what needs to be restored in your life. And friends, can I say this this morning? Only God can bring us to full restoration. So therefore, let's go on our knees and pray to a God of restoration to restore every broken piece in our lives. And friends, I know this God answers prayers and he will restore all that is broken in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I give you thanks and praise for this opportunity once again to be able to speak to your people. Pray for restoration this week, oh God. Bless each and every one of us. Restore what is broken in our lives. Restore what is broken in our country, God. Things are devastating out there, and I pray for restoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this devotion, and you'll be blessed, and you'll continue to pray for restoration this week, in our own lives, in our country, and everything that is broken around us. May God bless you, God be with you, till we meet again, in Jesus' name, amen.